which has got my boy, my homie, Charizard, and my homie Lugia. I wish I had like a triple Lugia card, but okay. So here are just a couple of other jumbos that I have. In the camera. So I got our GX and the Tanzania. Or Tanzania, whatever you want to call it. Those are the three jumbos. Okay, so now we're moving on to this next page, which is my uh, Japanese cards. These are super cool. Um, I can't take these out of the sleeves. I know that they're not in the best condition, but these are things that I've just um, collected over time off of eBay, um, auctions and stuff, so I've gotten all of these cards for under a dollar each, and they're actually all like pretty old school, like this one's even a first edition. Some of them are in better condition than others, like that one's like just severely bent, that Alteria. And then I've got this Entei. Yep. Here's the back. Just so you guys can see. The back on uh, Japanese cards is always um, different than the English sets, if you'll notice. Got a Hollow EX Deoxys. I love this hollow pattern. Super duper cool. And the rush room. These, um, I do actually have an English card right here. This is from Evolutions. It's just one that I um, haven't used in a deck yet that I want to be. I want to have used in a deck, so. These. I have a Yavatal Brick, which you guys may or may not have seen me pull both of these, but. And there's a Pyro Brick right there. So here is a deck. I guess I should show you guys like all the cool dice and stuff. Dragon Majesty. One of these. These ones are Forbidden Light. And Ultra Prism. Right there. Ultra Prism. And another Ultra Prism apparently. But the blue Ultra Prism. Four dice sets. I do have um, both of these sleeve sets that are empty right now, so I have 60 sleeves of both of those, but they just don't have a deck in them right now, currently. And last time I did a video showing off my decks, somebody commented that my decks suck, and I was like, wow, you're so kind. But anyway, don't post hate comments because I won't like you, and it doesn't make me feel nice, so just don't do it, okay? Like, the world can exist without people's hate comments on YouTube, okay? Like, can I just stress that for a minute? Because it just bothers me when people hate on each other. They think, you know, like, people get behind a computer and they just think they can hate on it. Like, literally everyone, and it's just like, no, like you don't have license to be rude and mean and nasty just because you're behind a computer. It's like, if you wouldn't say it in person, like, don't say it over a computer. I wish people would understand that, but anyway, random rants for the day. Here, you're just getting my don't bully people over the internet rant. <sighs> but I don't know if people will ever even understand. Ooh, shiny energy. So yeah, that's the way things are uh, going around here um but you know on a serious note like i i want this channel to be a safe place for people to come to enjoy a love of pokemon so you know like if if you guys can't say nice things you know i is the creator and the admin of the channel you know like i can block your comments and that's fine and no one will ever see your participation with the channel again and i hate to do that i hate to kind of give you the exile of banishment there but you know what if you're gonna be rude like i 
I won't have much choice, so just please be nice if, like if you want to participate and if you want to have fun with us don't be rude that's, that's all i got for you and don't be rude <sighs> okay what was i talking about i don't even know rude people and how much I hate rude people. And you guys might think that I'm kind of a hypocrite that way because, you know, I, I believe that, you know, we're, we're all humanity, we're all imperfect to an extent. But I also believe that a lot of times rudeness is a choice. And so, just ask you guys, like, please don't choose to be rude. Just, just don't. Like, we don't need that. Um, the thing that got me into Pokemon, actually, is my story. Kind of my life story, and I don't know if you guys really want to hear this, but Maybe I'll tell you guys anyway. Um, my life story is that after returning home early from serving an ODS mission, uh, I got into Pokemon because it was something that brought me joy. Um, the reason I came home early is not not anything that I did. It wasn't wasn't my fault. But I was hit by a car while I was serving a mission. Um, and I ended up with a crushed nerve in my foot. And because of that, I ended up having to come back and ended up having to do surgery on my foot. So I've been home for about eight months now and it's still something that's of hard for me to talk about sometimes because sometimes it just sucks sometimes it just hurts that i'm home but my faith is something that's very important to me my my church is something that's very important to me um and when i say lds i i mean latter-day saint i'm i'm a member of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints and that's something that I don't always talk about, but it's something that I'm also not afraid to admit. So, yeah, I... Oh boy, where was I? I totally lost my train of thought. This is why I should not record late tonight. But I was talking about my story and, you know, like, along with that story thing, like, you just can look at the people around you and you never know, like, what someone's been through. You never know what's going on in someone's personal life. And, you know, someone could be having like the worst day ever and you come along and just be rude and make that day worse. Like, who are you? I don't know where I was going with this. Wow, I, I ended up talking about some heavy subjects here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not mean to like have this be like a total downer, but I think that I deserve respect just like anyone else and just like any other YouTuber, I, I'm going to demand respect. I do not think it is okay in any manner, way, shape, or form to disrespect people with the internet. It's just not okay. I've been disrespected way too many times over the internet and I'm not just talking about YouTube, I'm talking about... <sighs> a bazooka of things. Emails, text messages, anonymous threats. Facebook. Facebook is a big offender sometimes. But you know Facebook can also be also be a good thing. There was there was someone baptized um, as a result of Facebook and I mission having Facebook, so don't believe that Facebook and social media is always an evil thing, but can be. 
my story with my whole mission thing, like, it's been hard to be home, and I just felt like Pokemon was something I could do to kind of get my mind off things for a while, because it's hard to come home, and, you know, I, I do, what the heck is on this card? Sorry, <laughs> it was really random, but, okay. Anyway, um, it's tough to come home from a mission, and it's tough to, uh, to be out there serving other people, and, and then to suddenly have that, like, just totally ripped away from me, it was, like, just unimaginable, because you think, like, oh yeah, that, that'll, that'll never happen to me, but then something unfortunate does happen to you, and you're just, life kind of just stops. You know, with the channel to kind of just share my story, share my love of Pokemon, share share whatever I can to make the world a better place in whatever small way. And you know, you don't have to believe what I believe. You don't have to don't have to be pushed into going to church or anything crazy like that. You know, <laughs> most of us members of the church are pretty normal people normal average everyday people you know like there are things that set us apart from the world and you might think they're a little weird and you know if you have questions for me comment down below I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about my religion if you're generally interested but normally the way that LDS missions work is that uh, girls, it's it's a voluntary thing. It's it's not a, like an expected duty um, as it is for boys. And for girls, it's we only serve for 18 months instead of two years, like the boys. And we are eligible to serve starting at age 19, and boys are eligible to serve at uh, at 18. And really, like, the whole purpose to serve a mission is to talk about Christ, to, to bring other people um, unto the joy of Jesus Christ that we have felt for ourselves as members of the church. And it's not, not to force people into our religion, not to, not to baptize them into our religion is a lot of people think like you know serving a mission is just all about baptism 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 but it's, it's not it's, it's so much bigger than that